What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Discord.js video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add reactions to your custom messages so your bot can react to a message someone just sent. So if we click on our Discord, you can see that I actually reacted to three of these messages. Reactions are pretty much this kind of uh, thing that you can do on Discord where you can react to a message you or someone else sent. So if you click on like the smiley face with a plus sign, I can actually react to this message right here that I sent with an emoji so I can do something like the monkey face and I'll react with the monkey face so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this it's gonna be a very short video it's kind of like a fun thing you can do with your bots your bot can react to other people's messages as well as the bots own message uh, so it's a cool thing to have if you're creating kind of a fun interactive uh, discord bots if you're not it might be you know good for you to understand how this works and how you can do it it's a very simple method very easy to implement so if you go back here i'm going to remove this and we're going to start with uh, a completely blank project so one quick thing this is a kind of a channel where i create discord bots so if you're new to creating discord bots i suggest for you guys to go check out my first video where i kind of uh just show you guys how to add the discord bot to your discord server and how to set everything up with discord.js and then check out my second video where i show you how to start doing commands those are the two videos that you probably need to know to get started with uh creating reactions or creating a discord bot so we are here in a blank kind of canvas i kind of deleted everything we had in the last couple of videos and we're going to create a command called react you can do this whatever you want uh but for this video this is going to be a very short video and i'm not going to do something crazy we're just going to do a command to react and what's going to happen is first we are going to react to the message that that person that player just sent with a custom emoji well not, not a custom emoji but a emoji that discord has on its platform which you can actually check all the way here actually right here in the emojis tab you can check all the emojis that comes with discord this is pretty much this is pretty much the uh, universal emojis that pretty much like i don't know iphone have and the android have uh so with that let's go into our project and after this after the case we're just gonna do very simple and we're just gonna do message that react and that's pretty much all that's the the, the method the function that you're gonna use to create and react to a message so a lot of people actually don't know why I use the double quotation marks you could actually use the single ones but whatever i, I switch between them because you know javascript is kind of weird you can use both of them but whatever uh so let's say we want to do the monkey emoji what you do to actually do this is to get the emoji you want click on the emoji page or the emoji icon down here and it's going to bring up this page here and let's just say we want to do the monkey one so let's scroll down to the monkey face and it's going to prompt up with this little code here it's not like a code it's like a small thing that uh small little text that discord takes and then that adds the emoji so if i press enter that's going to add the emoji there but what i gotta do before i press enter so let's go back here and find the emoji the monkey face emoji is add a backslash to it when you do this it's going to do like a universal emoji kind of thing. So what you can do is instead of this, you can't really copy that. Uh, you shouldn't really be able to copy that. So you can actually do the backspace one, the backspace uh, or the backslash. And then what you can do is just going to just copy it. So highlight it, copy it. And you can actually use this as your code. So you can do message at react and you can actually paste that emoji into uh, your code here. And you can see it's right here, the monkey face. And we're going to end it up with a semicolon. I know, I know a lot of people also talk about my semicolons. Whatever, guys. I, I'm just used to using semicolons in other programming languages. So we're going to do that. We're going to save it. We're going to do no space dots. If you don't know what I'm doing, make sure you check out my uh, previous tutorials. Then we're going to launch our bot. The bot is online. We check here. The bot is online. And if we do the react command, it should react with the monkey face. Pretty simple. Very simple. Again, you can do this with pretty much any emoji uh, that is a Discord JS or, well, not Discord JS, but Discord uh, emoji. So any kind of global emoji. So let's say we want to do something like, for instance, the clown face. So come here, the clown, do a backslash, then copy this. Go back into our code, paste this here, uh, save it. We get to exit it out of it. Um, sure, I usually like clearing it. No space dots. Go back into our Discord. Do the react. And it should react with a clown face. So all these emojis are different depending on the platform. So like for example, this monkey face. This is the Discord app. So this is how it looks like. But if you're looking your phone and your phone app, that monkey face might be different. Uh, but again, it's kind of like the universal 
emojis that pretty much everyone has uh, in their devices. So that's how you react. You can also do some cool stuff like um, send a message, then react. And to do that, it's clear. So let's say first we're going to send a message. So message that channel that send. And we're going to say, uh, again, I'll just keep doing this. We will, uh, let's see, what much we send? This is going to react. Re react to your sorry I can't type right now message and I don't care about misspellings then you can do a space and then you can do the method then and then you can write here the code that we just used which is message that react message that react and then we're gonna react with let's see and let's think of another emoji let's do the uh, sob why not backspace sob and let's copy that Go back into our code and paste it right here. And that should be good to go. So let's save it. Uh, already cleared. Space dot. And then let's go back here. React. And it should say thank you to... The, well, this is going to react to your message, whatever. And it reacted to that message. So if someone does like react. Uh, and then they type something like react with monkey face or something. Monkey. I can't type. It's a new keyboard, guys. Remember, uh, monkey face is such it's really hard when you get a new keyboard and you get a type it's, i don't know it's extremely hard for me react with monkey face and it's going to react with a sobbing face because that's the emoji we added but you can think there's a lot of methods a lot of ways you can actually implement this into your bot uh you can do something like a bunch of different sub uh i don't know sub messages so for example the arguments so, for example, the first argument can be react. That can be like a general reaction. But if you want to do something like react monkey, this would be the second argument. So if he does that, if someone says react in the second argument, then you can react with the monkey, react with whatever. Um, but that's pretty much all you need to know about reaction. I didn't go much into like advanced stuff with reactions because this is more of a customizable uh, thing that you add to your bot if you want to make it kind of do something like fun or if you want to add a cool, I don't know, some, you got to figure out what you use this for. But it, it's pretty cool. I use this for some of the bots that I do if I want to react to some of the messages they send. If they're typing a command, a cool command, let's say like uh, the command that searches their information from a video game then i can react to that message with something like a video game controller or something like that something cool so with that being said this is the end of this video again pretty simple you just do the message that react and then copy the emoji here paste it and that should react to that message that was sent uh that the player used the react button with so with that being said again this is my discord.js youtube channel i have a bunch of tutorials on how to create discord bots if you're new here make sure to subscribe to keep up with all of the tutorials coming up and yeah guys i'll see you guys later on my next video peace